Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. The company that boasts it can find any phone in the US as well as Canada lands on the FC's radar after a report its website exposed millions of people. The Federal Communications Commission has opened an investigation into the California-based company Location Smart. After a security researcher from Carnegie Mellon University exposed a vulnerability on Location Smart's website, he discovered the flaw within 15 minutes of looking at Location Smart's website calling it an elementary exploit. The cell phone tracking firm offered a free demonstration on its website where you could track any phone as long as you had consent from the phone's owner. Where a prospective customer could put in a phone number and once that number replied yes to a consent text, the location would be returned. The flaw which Location Smart said it fixed allowed anyone to use the tracking feature without needing prior consent. Location Smart is able to obtain accurate geolocation data on nearly any phone in the US because it buys that data from major US wireless carriers including T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T and Sprint. Though wireless carriers aren't allowed to provide location data to the government, they can sell that data to businesses. The company is adjacent to a hack of Sycharis a company in the lucrative business of prison inmate communication. Location Smart was the partner that allowed the former to provide mobile device locations in real time to law enforcement and others. There are perfectly good reasons and methods for establishing customer location. But this isn't one of them. Police and FBI are supposed to go directly to carriers for this kind of information but paperwork is such a hassle. If carriers let Location Smart, a separate company access that data and Location Smart sells it to someone else like Sycharis and that someone else sells it to law enforcement, much less paperwork is required. Sycharis Technologies was accused of providing location data on mobile customers to a former Missouri sheriff accused of using the data to track people without a court order. Location Smart revealed the real-time location of over 200 million people in North America due to this website bug. This feature never required the consent of smartphone users before tracking their location by approximate longitude and latitude plotting the coordinates on a Google Street View map. The security researcher that has found this flaw was able to type in any 10-digit phone number and get any own's location, and found a flaw that allowed him to bypass consent from the user being tracked. Verizon has taken steps to ensure that Sycharis can no longer request information on the company's wireless customers and that it would be re-evaluating its relationship with Location Smart. T-Mobile similarly has addressed issues that were identified with Sycharis and Location Smart. AT&T and Sprint no longer allow sharing of location information without individual consent or a lawful order such as a warrant. Yet using Location Smart's tool, phones could be located without user consent on all four of those carriers. Both of these things can't be true but of course one was just demonstrated and documented while the other is an assurance from an industry infamous for deception and bad privacy policy. But no one expected anything good to come out of a poorly secured API that let anyone request the approximate location of any own's phone. Consent appears to be a secondary consideration. It's not actually required by the carrier. Companies like Location Smart may only have to agree that they'll get consent in order to gain access to carrier tower location services not actually provide any proof consent was obtained. User location data has been at high risk since last year. That's when Congress repealed FCC privacy rules barring mobile wireless carriers from sharing or selling it without customers. Express opt-in consent.
us as consumers should be able to choose whether a company like Location Smart should have access to this data at all. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.